Hello again, I'm Dr. Nunez with Living Health. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. What is that all about? Well, I can tell you and give you maybe a clue as to what that might be about. It's fiber. An apple has four and a half grams of fiber. And you know what? Fiber helps your health. This is a series of videos on lifestyle, how the lifestyle that you lead, the choices you make on a daily basis of how you live your life, impact your health and well-being. If you like these kinds of videos, press that thumbs up, press that subscribe button, uh, press the little bell to get the notice, and leave a comment. It's always appreciated. So let's talk about fiber. Fiber in your diet. Yes, an apple has about four and a half grams of fiber in it. Apple juice has no fiber. So look at that. Always remember, eat the fruit rather than squeeze it, filter it, and just drink uh, juice. That's what we talk about eating more whole foods. So I'll link to some articles down below in the description so you could uh, research it and study some of this on your own. But in general, we're not getting enough fiber in the developed world. In the United States, where I'm at, people are getting maybe half of the fiber that they should, that's recommended they should get. So they're getting 10, maybe 15 grams of fiber a day, and they should really be more closer to double that, maybe a little more than double that, depending on, on uh, men or, or women. So how do you get your fiber? Well. You get fiber from eating plants. Animals don't have fiber. Plants have fiber. Animals have cholesterol. Plants don't make cholesterol. So it's about rebalancing that structure a little bit. Sometimes in the developed world, we get stuck in this area of eating a lot of processed foods. In general, processed foods don't have a lot of fiber or they start the fiber they started with during the processing gets reduced or eliminated. So that's the problem we have, and maybe if we return to eating more whole foods and more plant-based whole foods, we will resume getting that fiber. And then we limit our animal intake and limit our uh, processed and ultra-processed foods. What help could fiber be? Well, fiber is, has shown to reduce all-cause mortality and particularly heart disease, cholesterol issues, some cancers have, have uh, de decreased incidence when people are eating more fiber in their diet. So what can you do to get fiber naturally? Well, which plants, which uh, have a lot of fiber? Some of the richest fiber comes in beans and legumes, lentils, those kinds of things. And I'm gonna put up here uh, a screenshot from some of these things that have a lot of fiber in particular I want to highlight are the legumes nuts uh, and beans and, and some of the seeds for instance a cup of split peas has 16 grams of fiber that's more than most people get already and that's well on your way to reaching your daily goal lentils a cup of lentils is 15 and a half grams black beans 15 grams for a cup <clears throat> baked beans has 10 grams in a cup now be careful with baked beans because they do add uh, sweeteners in their molasses or some kind of sugars in there and you really would want to avoid uh, sugar sugar is highly processed and refined in general and doesn't have any fiber so you don't want to do that and you want to enjoy the natural uh, phytonutrients as much as you can so as you eat more plants you're going to get some of those too and a lot of vitamins in the grain world we talk about processed grains try to avoid that because what you're doing is getting rid of a lot of the fiber in the grains you want to go to the whole grains so a whole whole wheat bread is going to have two grams one slice two grams brown rice is going to a cup of brown rice about three and a half grams of fiber it gets you on your way the caveat i want to point out also uh sometimes people think oh i'm eating cereal in the morning check which kind of cereal you're eating look at the label and see how much fiber is in it there are some processed cereals that people have for breakfast that really don't have a lot of fiber so look for cereals that are richer in fiber. 
and they're at, fiber that's being added also to some other products out there so you can find it in in other things that uh, they may have added some kind of fiber if you do have trouble getting getting your fiber you can always supplement preferably you can just get it from your nutrients from what the food you're eating <clears throat> but if you're starting out and you're transitioning over to eating more fiber you can supplement with psyllium husk which comes in powders it comes in crackers now it comes in gummies um it's derivatives at least and uh that famous brand that's out there that go comes in those uh orange uh plastic jars is is psyllium husk and uh that can help what you should know about fiber too when you're supplementing with fiber or you're kicking up the amount of fiber you're you're having your diet you might get initially some sensation of gas or bloatedness and that's natural that comes in fiber as your body starts to readjust to getting a more no normal level of of fiber in your diet that more of the world is getting and we're not getting so much of in in the developed world as we move that way we can become healthier and that's choices that you make on a daily basis some wonderful berries also have a lot of fiber i wanted to emphasize that your raspberries particularly a cup of raspberries has eight grams of fiber that's very healthy so you can look at this when you're making a smoothie that you're adding something into your smoothie if you're adding uh broccoli in a smoothie a cup of broccoli has five grams of fiber so these things are can contribute to naturally getting uh fiber in your diet and when you're cooking your veggies you can still get your fiber that way too it doesn't disappear just because you cook vegetables so uh try it see what you can do start measuring and looking at the fiber you're getting in your diet you know so much of us look at protein that oh we work out and let me get a protein shake or a protein supplement or something like that but in reality we get plenty of protein in the developed world and uh what we're lacking in is fiber so i wanted you to start thinking about maybe shifting your mindset and looking at how much fiber you're getting in your diet to lead a healthier life you'll notice that it does improve uh, uh mortality reduces all incidence mortality so there are big things that can be gained from getting enough fiber it reduces it can reduce your cholesterol naturally and that will happen too as you shift more towards plants whole food plants and away from the uh the meats and, and processed foods so if you like these kinds of videos press that thumbs up press that subscribe button and press the little bell and leave a comment it's always appreciated and uh, sometimes we can do a video if enough people comment or request a particular subject. So until next time, live well, enjoy your life. Bye-bye.